My name is Ovidiu. Thank you for staying so late to hear what I have to say. I'm from Bucharest, where I lead the, an Sorry. Where I lead the analytics UI team at Hootsuite. And before working with React, uh, I was working on a backbone app that was getting harder and harder to maintain with every new component added. New components took longer to implement than the previous ones because adding a component also meant disturbing a lot of the existing ones. So I started thinking of a way to prevent this in the future, to create a better de development environment. So the goal was to remove the total number of existing components from the time to develop component function. This means component number 10 should take just as long to develop as component 100. But how would you assess this encapsulation? You would need an encapsulation test. And for that test, you would need an environment and I'm not talking about common JS or unit tests, because that's not enough. You need to be able to render your components completely isolated, deprived from their parent context, and this goes in line with the local CSS trend. So this means that you should be able to render any of your components as a root level component. And uh, uh, for that, you need to be able to have a, a clear function of component input that turns into deterministic component states. This will allow you to render any subtree from your entire app hierarchy. And it turns out React does just about that. It turns your components into a function of props and state. So I started creating something called Cosmos. And Cosmos introduces the idea of a component fixture, which is just a JSON object that contains both the props and the state snapshot of your component. Moreover, that state snapshot can also contain snapshots of children component, of an infinite level of child components. So this allows you to serialize and reproduce an entire state, an entire tree of React components, and bring them to their initial state. So luckily, my bosses at Hootsuite allowed me to rewrite the UI completely using React. So Cosmos became used by an entire team on an actual project. And the first thing that we, that we did with it was build this fixture loader that would list all the components that we had created and all the fixtures that we had created for them and would basically give you an overview of the entire app and with one click you could easily open a component given a fi given fixture and, and reproduce a state that you marked previously. So I thought this would be useful. So I made it open source and made it into something called Component Playground that I will demo for you now. So this is an instance of a Component Playground. It doesn't look that well here, but maybe I can resize it. Yeah. So this is just an example project. Uh, we'll open up the simplest component, which is a simple button that increases the counter when you click on it. You can notice it has three fixtures. The default one, one where it's disabled, and one where it already fakes 100 clicks. And a cool tool of the playground is this fixture editor where you can see the fixture that powers the component instance. And it, it's kind of a two-way binding. You can edit the fixture and see it reflect in the component instance. And you can even work with the component instance and see the, sna the snapshot uh, up to date. So let me show you something more interesting. This is a component playground instance on a, on a Tetris game that I built on React a couple of months, actually a year ago. So you'll see a bunch of components here. This is the Tetrimino, which is just the usual piece that you use in a Tetris. You can see the fixture editor. It's just a simple matrix. And now let's open up something more complicated. The root component, the game itself. If you open up the game with an empty fixture and start it, you will see you, actually, you automatically get the contents of the game, the props and the state of all the, of all the tree of components. And now you can see I'm playing the game and the editor actually updates the state. So let's do something interesting. Let's say I don't want the square. Maybe I want a different piece. Maybe I want a T or maybe I want a house. Sure, why not? Because it's all JSON. You can do whatever you want. And now, because I'm a sour loser, I'll just pretend I made a million points. And it's an error in the picture. No problem. And a thousand lines. 
Okay. That was the demo. Thank you, and I want to also thank my team. <laughs> I just realized I didn't post any links, so everything is open source on GitHub. It's my account is kidding everywhere, Twitter, GitHub. The internet doesn't work here, but you'll figure it out. Thank you.